Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Daniel Waskowitz here with Body One Physical Therapy. Today we're going to be performing our last of our exercise pain-free series, part four. For this, we're going to be going over the push-up. So I know we already went over the press more specific to a shoulder pain. Today with the push-up, we're gonna be talking more about wrist pain. So a lot of times folks will develop wrist pain on this side of their wrist, their dorsal wrist, as they're in that push-up position going through repetition. So we're gonna start by going over a treatment option and then two modifications that you can perform on your own to try and irradiate that pain. So we're gonna bring Austin in here. So say Austin's been having pain through his wrist in that push-up position. One of the first forms of treatment we could do with the use of a band is a self-mobilization. So come on over here, we'll look at it. So Austin, I'm gonna have you go down to hands and knees here and then we're gonna Go ahead and get a lot of tension on this band and put it on your wrist as close to that joint line as we can. So we don't want the band to be way up here. It's not gonna serve its purpose. We want it to be right on that joint line. And then I want you to bring your arm pretty far forward to where that band is trying to pull your arm back. Now from here, we're just slowly using your hips going to rock forward and back. So what this is gonna help to do is somewhat open up that joint to try and offload any possible impingement or irritation that's been going on there. So Austin, I would have you perform two sets of 15 of this prior to a push-up, and then get right back in that push-up position after he's done and see if that feels better. The expectation would be a pretty quick improvement with this, although you may have to do it prior to push-ups for a week or so for it to start lasting. Um, but a nice quick thing you can try at home now say for Austin that doesn't do the trick, I would still want to include that in the plan of care, but we might want to add another component. So let's go ahead and get you out of the band here. And now we'll actually get in a push-up position. Okay. And then we'll use a towel here. And we can fold up the towel however much we need to. Um, we'll start with just a little half fold there and I'm gonna sneak that right under your palm, okay? What that's gonna do now, so I still want you to keep pressure through your fingers, that's gonna take away all of that compression by just biasing his wrist in a different position. And then now if you perform some push-ups, good. So I want him going through it as if that towel isn't there, maintain pressure through the fingers, through the palm, but that's just gonna take away some of that compression. And how's that feel? Good. Good. Now let's say that didn't do the trick. You can go ahead and come on your knees. We could fold it more and do the same thing, or we could even look at our final option, which is gonna be using dumbbells. So, Austin, I'll bring some dumbbells over there. So now we'll get these in front of Austin here. And we can kind of bias that grip a little bit to be more in a hammer position, but now you're gonna have your hands on those dumbbells back in that push-up position now we're putting the wrist in a whole new position, right? The awesome thing about the dumbbell is he's gonna be in that position without his knuckles or fingers coming in contact with the ground. So there's no compression there, so it's a lot more comfortable. And now go ahead and run through that push-up. Perfect, good. So this completely changes up the position of the wrist. The awesome thing is we're still getting chest, we're still getting tries. So a great way to work through that motion without the pain, you can relax. Perfect. So there's three great options for you to try. If those options don't do the trick, you know what to do by now. Give us a call, come into one of our three clinics, let us help you out, this is what we do. Um, as always, I appreciate everyone who's watched and interacted with these videos. If you have any ideas of future content you'd like to see, please comment that. Um, but otherwise, thank you all so much again. This is Body One, Daniel Waskowitz signing out.